Fly your fair nation. Fly your fair nation. Thank you for tuning in to the Pointless Talks podcast. This podcast is powered by Fly Fair Nation. And Sugar, we are here. There, there. So, first things first, I originally wanted to talk about um, code switching. Because, you know, we're both from somewhere else, like nationality-wise. And um, I don't remember how the subject came up, but I, I, I don't know, I think I was talking to Shay at work one day. And someone was like, wait, what was that? And I was like, huh? And it just like automatically switched back to English from Patois. And I was thinking about like, I heard someone say something to the extent of like, what language do other people think in? Like people from other places. And I was like, yo, I think about that. Because I think in Patois for the most part. Mm-hmm. Like I think stuff and I make a conscious effort to speak English to people who I know don't speak Patois, who don't necessarily understand it. The majority of what I think in is Patois. Yeah, majority yeah. of the time, Patois is what I think in. Like, I say it in English, but in my head, it's Patois. I'm like, 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 I want to go on SO. Exactly. Me, everything, like, where I'm like, what's going on? It's like, Waki. Mm. In my head. <laughs> like, I want to keep that so. Like that. Yeah, it's not for me. Yeah, so, and I wonder, like, how many, like, do you make a conscious effort to speak English? Like, you, standard English, I should say. Yeah, to, to you know work and such yeah so but if i'm not then i find myself even talking to people that work in pasta sometimes and i just like like i'll be talking to shay right and then i'll forget that i'm at work and someone else would say something and i'll just switch and be like yeah so what and i'm like oh shit that was all the time yeah, but they understand what I'm saying because it's not too far off from English, so it's yeah. like. Mm. Yeah, but that is the people I work with. Do you feel like it's disrespectful to talk to people in a different dialect or language? Um, only if you're not going to explain what you're saying to them, mm-hmm. or if you are in fact being rude mm-hmm. and talking about them. But I mean. I feel like you, what do you mean? Are you just talking, like, let's say you're with someone, like how, like, me and you will go out and we're mm-hmm. talking and we're in a place where people speak regular English? Mm-hmm. That ain't, I'm sorry, we having a conversation. I mean, as long as we not, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. loud and extra and whatever, we not talking about nobody, like mm-hmm. I said, and we not really bothering nobody, then I'm going to talk my shit. So. I feel that. How do you feel about people, t- like, since we live in South Florida, people talking to you in Spanish? Uh, talking to me? Mm-hmm. I don't mind. Mm-hmm. Cause I'd be like, mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they say I'd be like, mm. they be like, you know, do you understand? I'd be like, mm. I'd be like, poquito. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, look, enter at your own risk with this one. Don't don't f up, cause I may not understand. But I don't really mind it. It's just like whatever, like yeah, like they do well. Mm, you know, I mean, I say this. People do get a little out of control with it sometimes. Mm-hmm. And we've been in a place where we've worked and we Oh, we've God, seen yes, you're when right. When you get a certain amount of people of a certain, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And they get together and they start to talk and, it, and it's just like, oh, my gosh. But, see, the problem is when you know people is talking shit. Yeah. And you know people are saying rude things. Uh-huh. That's the issue. Because I did say a little bit. I understand some. I know mm-hmm. the little funny shit they be mm-hmm. trying to say. You get what I'm saying? But... That's when it gets a little crazy. But, I mean, if y'all talking y'all shit, that's y'all business. Like, yeah. Just don't be extra. Some people like to be heard when yes. they speak different languages, too. That's another thing. Yeah. Like to be heard by others. That's very true. I know, like, at like at my part-time job, I'll be at work, and they'll come in, and they'll start talking. I'll be like, listen, like, there's this one little old lady. Like, that's mm-hmm. the only person I'll speak Spanish to because I know she really don't speak English. Mm-hmm. And she'll come in, and she'll look for me, and she'll be like, oh, I'd be like, oh, my God, sis. Like, <laughs> but, you know, I'll help her out or whatever. But, like, people, like, at my other job who speak fucking English and because it's comfortable for them, mm-hmm. they want to speak to me in Spanish. I'd be like, I don't understand that. they be like, no, you understand. No, I don't understand that. You understand English? Talk to me English. Don't don't try to force me to speak your language because it makes you comfortable. Like, right. don't do that. But at the same time, like I said, if you don't speak the language, like if you, if I can tell that you really having a hard time speaking the language, like I'm not gonna be a dick. Spanglish. Yeah, like I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna be a dick and be like I don't understand it. But if I know you speak English, Fact. I'm, you're speaking to me English. Don't, don't do that, like at well, unless, all. Unless, unless, you know, like, mm. <laughs> in the moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. But that's just my thing. Um, 
I was thinking about that, and I'm thinking about this um, foolishness going on with y'all president, right? Hmm? And his wall. Who? No, y'all president. Dog. <laughs> that, man, that man is different, my dude. Like, Him wow. and his wall. He want his wall, or nobody can't get nothing. Government shut down. Can you imagine, right? If you call the IRS right now, or during regular business hours, you're going to get a message that says that they're not there due to government shutdown. So even if you're trying to make a payment, you got to do it online or you got to mail it. And you can't call and ask no questions right now. My thing is with this whole situation, this whole situation <laughs> is just. The man is like on some different type of shit. Like control. I don't. I'm not getting this, so y'all ain't getting that. Nigga, what? Mm-hmm. Look, we, I'm, you know, I'm be trying to say too much about him because they be trying to, you know, next thing you know, mm-hmm. something, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm be trying to talk about them too tough. You know what I mean? But something got to be done by old boy. I don't know, but yeah, somebody somewhere, like, I don't, look. <sighs> Dog, people are hungry out here. This nigga's worried about building a wall. Actual citizens of this country are hungry and homeless, and this man is worried about people money. People don't play with people. Listen, not playing with people money. You gonna piss people real, like off clean, like. Bruh, this will be the first year in a long time that I was supposed to get a um, check back from the IRS, like a tax refund, because you know. I, now, I, I hope y'all did not plan on that money. Boy, I sure didn't. Because let me tell you, a lot of y'all that plan on that money. Sleep. Mm, y'all ain't going on a half of them trips. <laughs> Half them trips not happening. All y'all lesbians, sweet heat is not happening no more. It's not happening. Sweet heat not happening no more for y'all asses. <laughs> Nothing. Oh my gosh, all the trips. Some people carnival to, money that they're trying all to spend that is up. Best of the best tickets. Car- oh, carnival money. Oh, listen, the amount of costumes not getting no down, no um final payment for. Damn y'all, it's rough. I hope y'all didn't plan for it, but it ain't looking good. Listen, it's not that it's not coming. It's gonna be delayed. They don't know delayed till when, though, is the thing, because... But didn't he have a meeting with... Who did he have a meeting with? Some people. Um, Nancy and such and such. Pelosi and whatever. And um, basically, he was saying... They were like, yo, when you gonna stop this shit? He was like, I mean, you know... When he gets maybe home. in a month or something, right? Right, a month or something. And they were like, I bet. So he was like, all right, so what's good with the... So what's good with the wall, then? If y'all mm-hmm. trying to have me end it, basically. Mm-hmm. And it was like... Nah, we not doing that. Yeah, and he was like, "Well, never mind." Yeah, <laughs> like nigga, what? Yeah, it's He's either a child. he gets his wall mm-hmm. or, but I mean, like you said, he is a child. He's a a grown ass child. I don't understand America next. Like I don't throw understand. in a tantrum. I don't understand this place because the way the storm look, <laughs> <laughs> look pitchforks on that ass. Like let's get it together. Like gotta go. Yeah, you got to go over. Gotta go. I ain't, I ain't got time. I just know that I've never expected a tax refund. So the fact that I was supposed to get one this year, I was like, I don't even know how much well, to expect. My, I don't give a damn. It's mine. My little yeah. shillings that they be taking from me <laughs> throughout the damn year. It's mm-hmm. mine. I want it. But damn, he just be... Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it's... it's oh, yeah, I just feel bad. Uh, huh. All huh. these people that voted for him that on the back end still want their tax refund is mad as shit right now, I bet. Just sitting there looking like. Oops. And to all y'all that work like TSA and stuff, like, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, that's effed up and like all the other what, government jobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because remember, I had to go to court. I'm sorry, so like, um, um, garbage people? I think it's certain branches of the government is shut down. Not all of them, just certain because branches. Somewhere, like, I don't know. Like, well, I mean, it's Somebody was a... saying, like, <laughs> nobody has come to get the garbage for a minute. <laughs> Up north somewhere, but... I well, like, I, I guess it's based on where you live, too, and what division, because not only... It's not only the government that picks up trash. They have private Facts. companies also that do it, so right. you never know. Maybe they're in an area where it's just government funding that picks up their garbage. I, Sorry, no, sis. He, he got the place effed up. Mm-hmm. Like, and the more he goes with it, it's gonna get worse. Like, Listen. What you gonna do? You you think T, you playing with people in TSA? Like, 
Bro, you about to let everything through. You playing games. I made a that. joke about my carrot juice and my cakes coming through, but like dead ass though. Like niggas ain't finna be trying to do no extra work for for, real. for back pay. Like nigga, y'all working for free for the moment? Nah, son. That's I happen to be traveling soon. So. <laughs> Listen, I want some apples, right? If they in season. But anyway, y'all look back to Safina. Who are you talking to? Oh, well, oh, but just, but just one apple. That's where the list stops. Just some apple. Girl, the and seed? Yes, you can bring back the seed too if I just start. And you know I'm trying to plant some I trees. I some apple seeds. Well, okay. yeah, because you already know. And when I... And then I'm going to get you. Okay, I'm going mm-hmm. to you. you. That's all I want. You bring me you some more to apple. <laughs> you sit down and plant my seeds and, you know, raise them up in the direction they should go. And I ain't got no problems. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Stupid. How biblical. Ciao. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can tell where I grew up. <laughs> but um <laughs> but no, um I feel bad honestly though for the people who were depending on a tax refund check. Like people out here who got families and kids and stuff. It's yeah. terrible, yo. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, the people with kids too, they get back like two, three, four, five thousand dollars depending to yeah, a certain time of year. Don't depend on that, exactly. Because that's you know, big purchases this time of year when car sales be going up, they be trying to, you know, move up in a good direction and get a new vehicle or put down on something. Like, I don't know, bro. Y'all need to, this, this this is a prime example of why y'all should actually pay attention to what y'all do when y'all go out to these ballots. Y'all be putting bullshit. Like the people, especially people who decide to go out to vote and put bullshit on the ballot. Like if you know there's two top candidates and you want to vote for the underdog because I want to be liberal. I want the... Right. Okay, but honestly, do you think that liberal party is going to win? Do you think freaking the gorilla... What was, they was putting foolishness on the ballot that time. Like, come on, son. Like, can y'all... Oh, the gorilla that... Um, yeah, yeah that like Harambe. Yeah, like... Yeah, that's shit. Come on, Remember now. That? Yeah, it's like, Stupid y'all... Stupid times, yo. No, y'all take this shit for a joke, then shit like this happens, and then you're like, oh, I should... Like, no, like... That's how I knew humanity was fucked. <laughs> That's when you find like, out. <laughs> not been the book, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, like honestly, go out and vote. What year is this? This this is the third year. We're starting the third year. Is I this? Can't even. Is that I where we are lost right now? Track, bro. Jesus. <laughs> I've lost track with him for real. This is we are entering into the third year of this man's. Uh, I don't even want to call it a presidency in real life. This this man's shit show. Mm-hmm. We're entering into the third year of this shit show. And y'all got a year and some change to figure it the fuck out because if he's not impeached by the I don't think he's getting impeached. I don't I don't think he is. Because we talk about money and power and all this other stuff. And it's like, what? why is he actually in this position? How did he get here? A lot of people talk about, like, you know, the racism. And the, it shows how racist America is because the amount of people who cared enough to vote because, you know, he shared the same views as them and all this. And I'm like, that's one aspect of it. But he also represents something that some people either identify with or admire. So they thought, hey... I want him in office for this because he's not a politician. He had no political experience, none of that shit. He's a businessman. Like he, and this to me, I feel like this is just another job for him. Like that's what I think of. Like I don't think he actually cares about the United States. Of course not. Is this another thing to do? It's just something else for him to put on his belt. Like yes, match, I've conquered yeah. this. This is something else that I've done. I'm gonna go live my racist dreams and build this wall so these poor Mexican people can't come. Like, okay. How high is this wall supposed to be? Like, come on, son. Like these y'all. You ever watch a documentary on what these niggas and be going then through? I be on Twitter and I see like a lot of people that said he's trying to pay. You see how much he's trying to pay to build, like pay people. How much is it? Cause I I, I have a number. I oh wait, the hourly wage. Jesus Christ. Like two hundred. I saw two hundred and what? Hold on, I got you. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. No, no. Hold up, hold up. I might go up. build this. <laughs> Not, see, that's what I was gonna say. You being stupid. Shut up. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, look a hot sun never kill nobody, you know. And get look a water. Help build no damn wall. Yo. He gonna get them same Mexicans he trying to keep out to go build the wall. Which is very crazy. Mm-hmm. And then when they got the last brick left, he gonna kick them over and be like, all right, thanks for your help. Peace very out. crazy. Like, because honestly, though. Like, this. If that's oh, the case. Well, some. Okay, so maybe people are being funny, I guess. Oh, okay. 
They are Snap not paying nobody show. no fifteen dollars to blow that wall. You sleep. Fifteen dollars an hour? Nah, cause you get you way sleep. more than that doing construction and masonry and stuff like that. They get they get some money in real life. Facts. So so five point seven billion. Yes, that's the number I was hearing. That's the number I was hearing. But I, I was thinking for I was, the wall itself. Yeah, I was hoping that was a point, joke. Five point seven billion. How many miles is that shit supposed to run? It like the whole border, like the whole fucking border. I'm sorry. Bruh, the whole bottom of America is Mexico, to, other than Florida. To build a, a wall. wall. I just... Yeah. 5.7... Billion. Billion dollars. Not million. That you could use to... to feed, and homelessness. To feed people. And hunger in America. Right. And deal with all, all these issues, but you are going to build a wall... That benefits who? How? Ooh, boy, in trouble. I don't know. Ain't, ain't America already in like how much trillion dollar debt? I don't, that ain't I fixed don't yet. I don't believe that America can be in debt, so that's another thing you have to pick up with someone else. Because I don't truly believe it. Don't we owe China like everything? We don't owe nobody <laughs> shit. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. From, look. From I have learned, we, we print and make our money. Look, y'all can't tell me that I'm Exactly money. my so, point. So Ooh. I don't hear nothing. So there's no way y'all could still be spending. It's all a game. Well. No. I don't want to hear it. We want to go back to civics class, right? Oh, fuck this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> they have a limit on how many dollars oh, they can make, oh, supposedly. Oh, quote, unquote. Right. No. That's why niggas is out here making fake money. Hell no. No. I don't want to hear none of that. We need to stop talking about it too before they get me. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> you need to be all uh, partially ignorant with them doing their uh, them conspiracy mine. theories. They start getting... No, you remember what happened last time? They can get me. I don't know. Oh my god! But yeah, speaking of how the last time, um, my court date. Mm-hmm. When I was trying to call and set up my court date, I don't think I talked about it on the show. I couldn't even get through because the courthouses to talk to them they was closed by twelve o'clock. Now, I go to lunch at 12.30, so imagine me, three, four days, calling, and the offices are currently closed. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, how y'all closed? It's the weekday, ain't no holiday. Right. 12.30 in the day, y'all closed? I, I went online, they were like, oh yeah, <laughs> they're not regular hours, it's from till midday, and that's all you got, so I had to go online and um, schedule my thing. But that was the fastest uh <laughs> court experience but i was like maybe that's part of the shutdown too they're just kicking everybody out of court like oh this is bullshit all right there you go this is bullshit there you go this is bullshit there you go because i went in someone was walking out and i walked in with someone literally by the time i got to the line that person walked out too like they was getting niggas in and out of there i just i don't the government in this country is shit <laughs> this country is shit you don't know well yeah the, the country itself is shit Mm-hmm. And I say the government because we're talking about the judicial system and all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, everybody's talking about this wonderful documentary that's been released and how this man got off with video footage and the amount of people that are coming forth and saying, yes, he did this and whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, like, like Shadow was saying, if this happened in today's date, like right now, would he have gotten off like in the age of social media? Would he have gotten off? And I'm like, do you think social media would have made a difference? Because right now, these documentaries are out and people still don't believe this shit happened. People still don't believe it's real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm at work yesterday and this girl is playing the music and I just, I just asked, I said, that's R. Kelly? Oh, she was like, no. yeah. And I said, oh, oh all right. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was like, oh, all right. And she was like, what, you heard about all that stuff going on? I said, yeah, I heard about it. So she, she was playing R. Kelly that's out like that? Mm-hmm. Well, like, she was cleaning. Like, she's a janitor. She's yeah, cleaning the bathroom. Like nothing was going on. Yeah, like nothing was going on. And I said, damn, that's what's up. You know how to play devil's advocate. So I was like, damn, that's what's up. She's like, yeah, you heard about all that? I said, mm-hmm. She was like, you don't think he did it, do you? And I was like, you ain't watch a documentary, huh? She was like, nah, I watch it, but I don't think he did it though. And I was like, girl, I said, I think you need to watch it. Cause I think we're about the same age, like 20 enough. 
Okay. If she's not older than me, not just like hold out. on, and she has kids. Continue. I'm just waiting, cause I'm like, how you? Okay, cause I mean, I say it all the time. I'm not here to convince nobody of nothing. I'm not here to change anybody's mind about anything, sway anybody's thoughts. I'm just saying, have an open mind, point blank, period. Because I can't tell you what to believe at the end of the day. I just think this shit is real interesting, like. We talked about it on the last episode. Y'all got these grown ass men around these little ass girls, little boys too, these children, and y'all not doing nothing about it. Y'all let that shit get along. Like, <laughs> yeah. I don't think he did it though. What? Mm-hmm. She's like, like, she's like, like, like Janae, I don't one believe. Hmm. Ever in the history of hmm. him existing. No, hmm. lady. It's a whole thing going on. Like, yeah. it's been going on. Mm-hmm. It's still going on. You know what I mean? To this day. And Shay sent me something that said, you know, your daughters will hear you defending R. Kelly, and that's why they won't tell you their uncle is touching them. Woo! Oh. Oh. I was like, can you, can you say that a little bit louder for the kids in the back? Because, seriously. Mm. If your daughter, your sister, like some woman close to you hears you um, defending R. Kelly, knowing that they've been through something, why would they feel comfortable telling you that something happened? Like, why would anybody come forth and be like, um, hey, so-and-so touched me, da 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 Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why would What's you? Because you're sitting here talking to somebody you don't know. You're defending somebody you don't know right now, right? And I'm in the house with you chilling. Mm-hmm. And you're basically like, oh, he ain't do that. Da, da, da. And you got video footage. You got people coming forth saying, I was this age when this happened. This is what he was doing to me. Person after person after. There's a bunch of girls on this video. There's parents of these girls on the video saying what he did and whatever whatever and people are still saying that they don't believe this happened one of the jurors what did he say what fucking um he didn't like the way they were dressed he didn't like how the girls were acting (laughs) you know you know Mm -hmm. i've been just running around and avoiding this thing uh I don't even want to talk about it from an aspect of him because we talked we talked about this on the show the last episode. We were trying to say you know how you know pedophiles and such will get a pass over homosexuals and Mm -hmm. because we know this is true. You see Mm -hmm. it in your own families, everyone. Mm. I'm sure. Um, it's too much. It's too much. It's it's a lot. He's canceled Mm -hmm. indefinitely. Um. Yeah, we just need to get him the fuck up out of here and um, just black him out. Dead him. Mm-hmm. Basically. Because he's still on tour. Yeah, dead him. Black him out. Real simple. Bruh. But I just read something that says they um were at his, uh showed up to his um shit. Mm-hmm. With the so Atlanta one protest, or something like that? Well, not even just that. I heard that he's he under investigation now. Protesters show up and stuff at his recording studio. And things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's wild to me because... You hear all of this, right? All of this was out there before. It's just collectively now. Like, it's just collected and put together on one platform, right? Then there's his brother talking about, he just likes young girls. What's the problem? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like pedophilia is a sexual identity? Because you know that's one of the arguments that they like to squeeze in there. You know, because at one point, being gay was just, there's something wrong with you. And, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, do, you, do you think that pedophilia is a sexual identity? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Don't ask me no fuck for that, Don't ask me no stupid shit, my nigga. Like, don't, don't, don't ask me why, you know, big, nasty, dirty man is looking at, some little kid, like don't 12, ask, don't 14. ask me no shit. Don't make it make sense. Like make it make sense. No, don't ask. Don't no. no. I can understand like if no, you're into. Sir, you got shit going on with no, mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. All right, let's say no. 
No. No. No. Because I'm looking at it like this, okay? Let's say you're into slimmer girls. You don't like large boobs. You don't like big butts. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's a preference. That's fine. Right. Right? If you, even if you like younger girls, let's right. say a year or two younger than you, but you jump in decades, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Like you, and fuck decades. You're looking at a specific age range, right? I was tapping into my wannabe psychologist bag and I was thinking about like how, yeah, I want to be a psychologist. You know, sometimes I want to be a psychologist. And they said that I think he was abused up until he was the age 14 or something like that. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow, all the girls that he's talked to was 15 or somewhere around that age range. And I'm like, maybe that's the age when he started finally coming into himself. So he's targeting girls that age to probably identify with, you know, that but I'm like nah nigga because you're doing or, some wild shit in this or you or a lot of people would just say he was he stuck at 14 yeah that's what I'm saying like his mindset like you know yeah, what I'm saying he didn't know just, what to do he's not a grown up he's mm-hmm. 14 mm-hmm. He sh- yeah that's how they would you lord mm-hmm. I could just imagine yeah what you know they would try to you know St- yeah because say that, I heard, you know because of the trauma mm-hmm. is, that he is stuck Mm-hmm. As a little boy in a place because mm-hmm. he never had the chance. To... Mm-hmm. Nah, 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 fuck it. Mm-hmm. No, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. He mm-hmm. has done too much. He has done too, too, too much mm-hmm. for me. I know something happened to him and thing and What's yeah, that? that whole thing. But yo, we all been through some shit. This is what I'm saying. He no, that nigga different. He different. Yeah, he gotta go. He and then go. it's not even just the age thing. It's everything else that goes into it, like the controlling aspect of it. Right. Like, you got this big-ass house, and you got people in different wings, and they gotta ask permission to go fucking piss. This many people like my thing? Yeah, girl. I'm mm-hmm. cute. I must be cute. You must be cute. Yeah, on, <laughs> this nigga's on Instagram, in case y'all wondering. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? I think about, like, fetishes also. You know, like, they have fetishes that cater to shit like that. Like, child's play, no Chucky. But, like, you know, the baby diaper thing, like, you want to play yeah, mommy, play daddy, shit like playing. that. You know, the cute teenage girl thing, or, like, the, um, the, like, um, what is it called? The schoolgirl look and stuff like that. Like, yeah, all that I stuff. Get that. Like, ooh, but these. Like, put on a little. Exactly. Me the fish net, mm-hmm. stocking, and little checker plaid thing. skirts yeah, and the pigtails like, and all that. That's a whole sexy vibe, but that, that, that is it. And that is you with an adult. about kids, like. <laughs> Actual children. Look, uh, let's keep it 100. All right. Mm-hmm. Um, all these y'all. All right, a lot of y'all look at like you know R. Kelly's and all these little things, the Bill Cosby's, mm-hmm. and all these little situations. Okay. Now, let's not forget some of these like regular people that mm-hmm. be doing this, mm-hmm. and y'all just be turning the eye like these taxi man I saw. Mm. Um. That's like hmm. 30, 40 with their own families, but be messing around with people. Schoolers. Time. Come on, y'all. Like, yeah, look. I don't oh, know. I, come, like, come. Everybody needs to wake the fuck up, first of Listen. all. Listen. Like, stop brushing the shit underneath it. Talk about what needs to be talked about. A lot of y'all, like, I know a lot of parents, they shy away from like, the conversations mm-hmm. and shit. Y'all need to talk about these things because. Listen, I can give shit credit is fucked up. where credit is due. My mother didn't play none of that shit. Right. First and foremost, my, you know, my mother cantankerous like shit. Yeah. So when it came to like sex, she talked to us about sex, like openly. Like if we had to ask my mother anything about sex, we'd ask her. Of course, I was asking her about no oral sex because that's that's a little bit too extreme. You know, old Jamaican people, whatever. Yeah. But I remember we were kids. I, I feel like I talked about this. I don't know. She took us to go see Friday. I think we we're I don't know how old we were. I'm not going to tell my age. We went to go see Friday in theaters. Right. And, and you went to see Friday in theaters. Not Friday. Next Friday. Girl, I, I ain't that I motherfucking old. Like, you saw Friday in theaters? What? Wrong one, wrong one. Next Friday. We went to see Next Friday in theaters. And the scene when they went out back to the jacuzzi and the condom was floating in the um <laughs> jacuzzi. Me being dumb, because I know what a condom is. We took sex ed and all that stuff. But I was like, Mom, what's that? It's a condom. I have a funny joke about that word. Oh, about Jesus. The word. Go ahead. But you know what I'm saying? She was like, she basically, in a movie, she whispered, she was like, oh, it's for safety, for sex, whatever, whatever. But like, all them books, like Eric Jerome Dickey and shit like that, my mom my let me boy, read those Eric Jerome Dickey. when I was a kid. Like, she talked to us about you sex. Was, you 
was over here reading freaking mm-hmm. Lovers and Friends. Yes, books, Milk and My Coffee, Milk Sister, my Sister. Coffee, like, stuff. come through. You know, I was reading all the books. Sister Soldier, Coldest Winter Sister Ever. Soldier. All of that stuff, because I'm my mom is a reader and I'm I read a lot right. too. So she like she'd read her books and she'd be like, "Here, you can read it." What's because the other, that other um author who wrote Fly Girl. Oh Jesus, I know the name. You know I can't think mom. of it. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. it but she like we read all them urban books and whatever, whatever, and even freaking Zane. Zane. Yes, even Zane. Like I read Fiona Zane books Zane. and yeah, I read those when I was like in like freshman year of high you school. You read the Sky books. Choices, consequences. I feel like I saw it. I don't know if I've read it. I read, what was it? Sunny White Lines. And it was like White Lines 1, White Lines 2. Yeah, it's about cocaine. And pause, have you seen the Kiki Palmer thing? What what about it? Have you seen it? No. 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 But, um, but yeah, that's one of the things that, like, I really admire, like, my mom, because I know some parents, some households, you can't talk about sex, right? And my mom even, like, my mom's biggest thing was always, like, if somebody touch you, let me know. Some, like, like I said, me and my brother are 11 months apart. We'd go to the bathroom, and my mom be like, okay, you're in the girls, you're in the boys, and she would literally stand outside and wait for us to go, and then when we come out, we're outside together, and she'll go into the stall by herself. Like, she was just like, no, and if my brother went in the bathroom, she's like, listen, after a certain age, she would let him go by himself in the men's bathroom. Be like, listen, if anybody touch you, scream, run, kick, yell. You know what I'm saying? And I know that if something happened to me as a kid, like, I would be able to tell her. Because my mom's, I feel like my mom's biggest fear was somebody touching us as a kid. Like, the way my mom acted, like, I swear that's probably one of the biggest fears that she had. Like, she, oh, like, even, like, her, her uncle or family members would come over and she'd be like, don't let nobody in the house if I'm not there. And it wouldn't even be, like, somebody's trying to steal from it. Like, it would always be, like, sexual predatory stuff. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, yo, imagine if, like, all of these girls had the same, like, mindset. Like, the girls that are in the video, specifically, I'm talking about. Because one of the girls in the video says she was at the trials. And you still end up in the... Like, I didn't believe what was happening, but I was a big fan of his. And, girl, what? Watch, she watched the tape and still ended up being one of the. I don't understand. outside talking about freedom. I don't understand how you watched the whole tape of when he was doing whatever with that young lady, and you still ended. What? Mm. Look, I, you're not pee peeing in my mouth. I, then again, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to. Yeah, like, I don't want to typecast nobody. She, yeah, you because, know, because you know that means young you mentality know, and all of that and, stuff. And he obviously is a super predator. Mm-hmm. So I don't ever mm-hmm. want to be like. And he had know, his camp helping him too, like. You yeah. tell somebody, go get some girls, they go get some girls, but they know what age range they're looking for, because y'all going to malls and high schools. Nigga, you 30 odd years old. Why the fuck you hanging out at high schools? This and then the, tell you, it's, and it's the that te- mindset. He's not grown. Bruh, and then the teachers, and the coach, and the police, and everybody else. Like, I used to see him at the school, and I used to be like, hey, why is he hanging around? What? It's, excuse me? You, What? Like, you, you you see this grown man hanging out. Like, it's not even like you saw him one time. You said hanging out, so it's obvious he's you a presence. You know part about a lot of this is that he is not the only one. That's the thing about it. He is the known one. He is the known one. And then my thing is, how many people, people is he people, giving motivation? A lot motivation? of people in their fucking boots and keeping real low right now. Dog. They don't want their fucking car pulled. Dog. That's why a lot of people ain't talking either. Uh-huh. A lot of people are shut mouth. Why? They didn't want their car pulled. But, mm-hmm. You know, day by day, they pulling y'all out every year. Yeah. More and more. Y'all, mm-hmm. getting, y'all getting pulled out. Yeah. So, nobody safe, really. Honestly. And I... Yeah, money running out. I commend the people who have come forward and said something. Right. Because whether or not something happens to him, awareness matters. Like, if you don't talk about it, people won't know that it's happening. And there are people that, like I just said, if your child is being molested, your sister, your cousin, your daughter, your your son, like, don't forget about the boys, because it say, happens to everyone. You shouldn't forget the boys. No, and I talked about, I'm saying I talked about it on a, a way earlier episode, I'm like, listen, y'all talk about the girls all the time, the boys are, the boys are probably the ones that are the least likely to come out. The girls, it might take longer for some of them to come out, but the guys more than likely will not talk about it. I was going to say... You know, a lot of these things you don't even think about, like toxic masculinity. And yes. Things. Like, uh, 
like a lot of where does that stem from like all of that like this need to dominate this need to be this masculine presence in something like that shit comes from somewhere you know what i'm saying like y'all like i keep saying protect the children protect the children yo if your child tells you that something happened to them you listen to them I should be listening to your kids in general. Yes. Okay? You should be listening to the and, things that they don't say. Who I was just about to say. You need to listen for body language. Like, things yeah. that they're not saying. Like, you need to look at... out. Like, when they come home mm-hmm. and stuff. Like, talk to them. Like, mm-hmm. they moving funny? Like, what's mm-hmm. up? Like, don't just ask them about you? schoolwork. Because kids do more than just go to school and write. Yeah, like, and shit like, happens. Find out, like, who they... You know what I'm saying? Like, find out who they teachers are and all that. Yeah. Who and they be around. What other exactly. they be around. Mm-hmm. All that stuff. Like, and y'all need to pay attention to like changes in like temperament and things like that. Like they won't know. say nothing, but their attitude will change. And, and I don't know how y'all are these days, but I know my parents. We wasn't with the sleep out, sleep oh, out business. Sleep which know, part? I don't know how y'all do with y'all kids <laughs> these days, but um, just be aware of what y'all doing. It don't. I know. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> okay, so you know, I know where, like, people will watch, like, friends that they send their kids, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But, you need to watch everybody. You yeah. Send them to your family house, watch that too. Yeah, uh-huh. Watch the family house. Who's this at the family house? You think they safe at the family house? A lot of the times they go to the family house, that's when the shit is happening. Mm-hmm. That's when the problem is really going on. The place that you think they the most safe at. Mm-hmm. So. The same cousin, sister, uncle, people, and you know what's crazy? It's not only the men that are victimizing children. Women are victimizing children, too. Facts. Women are victimizing boys. They're victimizing mm. girls. Mm. Men are victimizing boys. They're victimizing, victimizing girls. It does, it, it's no gender specific, specification. Like, they're, it's not just one thing. You need to be aware of the people that you're around. And granted, they're not going to come out and be like, hey, I molested your child. But you can tell the difference in how your child behaves when you say, hey, you're going to go spend the weekend here and here, like, do y'all get in a problem every time this happens before? Like, let's say y'all had a whole month of great activity. I saw something I wanted to ask you. What's I up? I saw on Twitter, by the way. Somebody was like, so, male, like, pedophiles, mm-hmm. right, who touch young boys, mm-hmm. are they gay? I, I have mixed feelings about that. Right? Because I don't know if it's necessary a sexual attraction to the male gender that But what if it, but if it's not but they're not touching girls. I know, but I'm I'm getting to yeah. that part. I don't necessarily feel like they're just sexually attracted to males. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's the I feel whole like, age thing again. Yeah, I think it's age and also control mm. and it could also be a type of male that they target. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's usually like let's say they were bullied or they were like molested by someone. I don't, mm. I don't think it's necessary. Like they see a man and they get horny. You know mm. what I'm saying? I don't even think it's necessarily about sex either. As far as pet, me personally, I don't feel like my opinion, my opinion, my opinion. I don't feel like pedophilia is necessarily a sexual attraction. I think it's more about sexual control and about, it's a power struggle also. You know what I'm saying? Because if it's just about sexual abuse, you can go sexually abuse anybody. You can just find somebody that's weak minded, that's an adult, because they're out there Child, that you can. Over here <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That you can <laughs> that you can abuse. There are people with low self esteem and you know whatever. You can go find a dominant and submissive relationship that you can be in control with. You know what I'm saying? That's two consenting adults. But I think it comes from insecurity within that person. Like they don't feel like they can do this with another adult that's mentally capable to tell them no. But they feel like they have the power over a child because children are taught to what? Respect your elders. You know, if an elder says do something, da 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 they're taught to do that. So if a child is in your care or accessible to you, someone that you know that you can easily manipulate or make them feel like they're in not even and I don't even feel, feel like people even do the whole I'm gonna kill you if you say anything shit anymore. It's more like no, you can't do you that. exactly like it's I don't even think that's really one of the threats they do anymore. It's more like you want to upset your parents? <laughs> like, do you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the threats are probably not even as severe as... What do you think your parents would say? Exactly. Do you think they're going to believe you or me? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, it, I think it's just, it's more so a control thing. It's more control than it is about sexual attraction. 
if that makes any sense. That's just my opinion. I don't feel like they're sexually attracted to you. Now, there are people out there. Oh, God. There are people out there who are... I don't get it. <laughs> like, I can't even talk to nobody that's more than three years younger than me. So, I don't... I don't what do you mean? Like, oh, as far no. as attraction goes. Like, sexual attraction. Because I'm... I'm, not, I'm thinking about, like, the mental development, though. Because I'll be trying to have conversations with people. You know what I'm saying? You, a 40-year-old man, what are you having a conversation with a 16-year-old girl about? Oh, that, well, that's a big old gap right there. But the, what gap do you think is too big? Like, I feel like if you are both, like, of age, like, two adults, because, mm-hmm. you know, the whole um, Jay-Z and Beyonce thing came up, too, because that age range is about the same age range as R. Kelly and sorry, how, Aaliyah. What's their thing again about... What do you mean their age range? I think they're about fourteen years or so separate, something like that. I don't know for sure. Somebody in the beehive gonna correct us, but um, th- there's a huge gap between them two. So like fourteen? Something. Well, actually, no, because they said that she know about her age, so it's probably like about eight years. No, it's like ten. But go ahead. Something, girl. It's about I, don't, 10. I don't fucking care. It's definitely about ten. But regardless, you know, it's more than five years. It's way more than five years. So. There's that argument. Now, I <laughs> just get your face. Well, I know about the argument, but... My thing is, consenting I just, adults. I just think it's... If you're old enough to have good car insurance and they're not old enough to buy liquor, mm, try again. <laughs> like, you over here 25 plus and you're talking to somebody that's 16, 17, 18, 19, like, uh-uh. I, I'm thinking about me personally. Well, like, I can't have no conversation. So what? It it's based on the mental development too. I want to say that I I'm sharing something personal. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been younger. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you and, like grown women. <laughs> yeah, I forget you like them grown. Girl, can you but can you I'm just relax? saying. Because you be having, like, old lady friends and stuff like that. I do that. have like, grown woman friends. <laughs> I really do. They're so grown. And they be trying to bake me cookies and stuff. <laughs> anyway. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Um, I had to be, like, 16, 17. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, there was a point where I was dealing with a grown woman. And she was, How? like, in her 30s. Right? She was in her 30s. Some could say she statutory raped you. And she... Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And she's funny because she always used to say, oh, I'm going to turn you out. I'm going to turn you out. Mm-hmm. And in my head, I'm thinking, you can't turn me out. I'm already out. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? In my head, like, you mm-hmm. can't. But when I look back at all of that, it's just like, eh? Yeah. Like, it's... Like, real personal moment. Like, and I'm just like, six, I'm like 16, 17. And I'm like... You're not thinking that's about how, it I'm like not, that. That's like how I'm looking at it. I'm looking mm-hmm. like, oh, I'm with, I'm with this grown ass. Uh-huh. Like, I'm it. I'm like, you know, I'm, me, I'm fucking this yeah. ass woman. I'm like, yeah. the her down. Like, it's yeah. lit. Mm-hmm. No. Y'all stop. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, your favorite person in the world. Um, they were talking about Chris Brown, too. About how um, my he, <laughs> he, um, She's so funny, y'all. he, he was having sex with grown women when he was about that age, too. Mm-hmm. And I forgot. I think someone was like, baby, you were raped. Did he fuck? I think so. Possibly. I think so. Like from way back. Yeah. Yeah. No? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, I think about like after like all the Me Too stuff comes out, you know, in rape culture, like I hate saying things that sound so like blah, but like it's a real thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I was thinking about, uh, please y'all don't come to me with all the sob stories right now. Like I'm not in any way like traumatized by this like i'm more reeling of like yo i really didn't think that that was an issue i've been in a situation before where i've had forced sex right and i've been like is forced sex rape yes it is but at the time i didn't think of it as i'm being raped or i got raped you get me and this was someone I was in a relationship with, right? This was my boyfriend, whatever. And we were still in a relationship afterwards. Everything was fine. I never really processed it. as I just knew I was uncomfortable and I didn't want to do it. it happens a lot. Yeah, and, and I know it happens a lot. And 
I think about this because one of the girls said, you know, he asked me to do it and I didn't really want to, but I just went along with it anyways. Mm -hmm. And I know so many people who go through that, whether it be male or female, where you don't really want to, but you don't want to upset the person or Mm -hmm. you don't want to make a scene or you don't want to, you know, make the energy different. You don't want to disrupt the peace. You don't want to mess it up. Yeah. You don't want this person to not like you anymore. Some people. Yeah. Especially, well, especially if it's like, Sex is like the mm-hmm. main thing at the moment in a mm-hmm. relationship, and you don't, yeah, get, get real ugly real quick. Yeah, so like, and there's a lot of people that like they've been in situations and they don't say anything. And I hate the whole, oh, well, they didn't say anything, why would they care? Yeah, so it's like, what do you mean, why didn't they say anything? Some people don't even register it as what it is because things happen, and I've said it before, you have an outer body experience, like you're looking at it from the outside, you're not really registering what exactly is happening. So I have never been the one to be like, oh, why didn't you say something? Why didn't you come forward sooner? Why didn't you, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I, I've, I'm i just like, I, I sympathize with them. And I imagine like too, like the people who are going through this right now, you know what I'm saying? Like seeing this documentary and thinking about the life that they're currently living, like People are dealing with this right now. This isn't just something that's fictitious and happened just in the celebrity's life and the people he affected. Like you just said, like, this is happening to people, to regular people. Regular people are doing this right now all over the world, not even just in America, not like, this is happening. This, like, right the second as I'm talking about this shit, as you're listening to this shit, something bad is happening to someone. Oh, they, like, someone is yeah. being victimized. Like, someone, like... I hate to say someone is being raped right now. I always look at shit like that. Like, you know, every certain sec, like every yes. certain amount of seconds or whatever. Oh, and uh, I think about when I first came to this country, they used to do the whole, like, I forgot what channel. <laughs> listen to this, listen to this, my fucking immigrant. Listen to this, when I first came to this country. <laughs> no, because I'm thinking about like, you know how they used to have the thing on the TV? And I forgot which channel was. It's like 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children, children are? are? Oh. Mm. My God. It's da, 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 da. Do you know where you're from? Yeah, <laughs> oh, like shit. dog. They need to keep they need to put that shit back on. For who? For, well, nobody not watching who TV. Cable? <laughs> who got cable? They got it they need to send it an alert. On I was just phone. about to say the way the president sent that uh message to everybody that one time, they need to do that shit. I, don't do, like that. I told you I didn't like, I didn't that, like shit. that shit either. I told you it was very much like <laughs> one of them movies. Mm-hmm. I don't like that shit. Mm-hmm. And so, now after I seen Bird Box. Oh, God. I was going to ask if you saw, you yeah, watched the whole, yeah, the whole thing. You feel me? We need to go get a box with some birds in it in case, you know, bad mind puts all them come wrong. I'm sorry. You know, a box of who? A box of birds? <laughs> mm-hmm. You better train that fucking turtle to do something. <laughs> I don't know. What he going to be swimming. You better train that nigga to do something. He ain't going to just be getting away for free. Did he bite you? Who? The other day, the turtle. I bust that nigga in the face. No, your turtle did not bite me, my nigga. Because you said you put your finger in the Yeah, tent. but I'm not with nothing. He looked like he was trying to He was trying to go fuck with it, but I put it in his eye, but he know better. My poor turtle. But no. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to make light of the situation or anything like that. Like, it's very much a real thing. Okay. I personally don't care for all that dumb conversation about, oh, that shit ain't real. Like, Okay. And did you see even that, like, they got TMZ putting out video of him going shopping with the girl and this, that, like, one of the girls that they're saying that is a, a, a victim or whatever. And I'm like, first of all, that looks staged. As much money as this man have to be paying off all the people that he paid off, right? Exactly. You think he can't pay some TMZ people to come, hey, uh... Here's a here's a here's a, here's a behind the scenes. R. Kelly's gonna be in the mall later on today. Right, oh right. hey, I spotted R. Kelly. Like, come on now, niggas. Publicity, come the fuck on, right? But no, honestly, like, y'all need to stop supporting this shit. Put like, period. Yeah, we can't. We cancel him. We sorry. can't. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. He's canceled. Let's just yeah. And even well, I beyond think we've that, we've overlooked enough. Like, yeah, we honestly all have overlooked enough. We've all mm-hmm. we've all done wrong. Mm-hmm. Let's just keep it on it. We've all. Mm-hmm. We've been seeing that. We and laughed at the jokes and all of that. No, oh boy, yeah, no. It's just yeah, he's it's a no. My thing with it is though, like he did it in a way where you can't say he's keeping them hostage. Mm-hmm. He's abusing them while they're in his care. 
but he's not keeping them hostage. No one, none of the girls that I've heard said he wouldn't let them leave. He wouldn't let them go to the bathroom. But the one girl's mom who was on there, she said that, you know, her daughter came home that one time or whatever. And she went and got her daughter, like all of that stuff. So he's not keeping them captive, but he's fucking up their mind to the fact that they feel like they have to be there for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want to, in their mind, be there for him, despite the abuse or whatever the hell it is. Mm -hmm. And you see that shit on the news. Like, kids who get kidnapped when they're however old and their family's looking for them or whatever. Mm -hmm. And 10, 15 years later, you hear from the child. The child reaches out, like, hey, mom, I'm fine. Bitch, what? (laughs) Excuse me? You, you just fine, so oh yeah, but I'm still with my captor. I'm I'm not coming home. I'm just want you to know so you can stop worrying. After 15 years, I'm fine. Stockholm syndrome is is real. I'm about to say I was talking I was talking to my sister about that earlier about Stockholm syndrome. It's real, and that's and Stockholm syndrome doesn't just stop at like physical abuse or rape or any of that stuff. It's any kind of negative activity that you deem as normal after so much time of experiencing it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, like. Being in a bad fucking relationship that you aren't able to be yourself or talk to your... Fa- y- y'all need to see the red flags. Right. If y'all can't talk to y'all family members that y'all talk to regularly... Like, if I'm ever in a relationship and you hear me say that I can't talk to my brother, just get the gun. <laughs> For real. Just, just get the gun. I can't talk to who? I can't talk to my father? I can't talk to who? Nah. Just get the gun. Just get it. Like, just, just, just done it. Like, no. But all of those things are signs that you should pay attention to. Like, oh, he gets upset when I call my mom too often Mm -hmm. because he he feels like I'm acting like a child and I'm not growing Mm -hmm. up and talking to him about all my problems. Oh, he doesn't like when I wear these things. He says it's too tight. It shows my shape. Oh, I can't wear jewelry because it's too flashy. Oh, I can't comb my hair a certain way because he doesn't like it. It upsets him. It upsets him. It upsets her. Let me not just put it on the males, because some of y'all women out here are doing the same shit too. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's not. It's not. It's, it's not just. It's, it's not everyone. gender. Yeah, this has nothing to do with gender, no color, no none of that. Like, or sexual orientation. Or uh, huh. at this point, because same, same shit. It 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 spreads the whole spectrum of humanity. Yeah, everybody in it. So everybody in it. You know what I'm saying? Pay attention. Pay attention to your friends. <laughs> Pay attention to your family, like, you know what I'm saying? Be polite to people. You never know what someone else is going through at the end of the day. So, I mean, ooh, child, just, 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 just keep your eyes open in real life. Just keep your eyes open and be aware of what's going on. Like, it's, nothing about it is funny. I I can't even say it's all fun and games until, like, it's, nothing about it is funny. I'm pretty sure Everybody listen to it to this knows someone who's been sexually abused, mm-hmm. whether it's to the point of rape or whether just it's just or someone else. exactly, or if it's just a pat a fly by pat. Sexual harassment happens at work. Someone making sexual comments towards you that's sexual harassment. Whether you don't think it's that serious or not, it's still sexual harassment. And rape culture is so real that someone could be sexually assaulting you, and you'd be like, "It's not that serious." He just said this. Um, it's, it's, it's too normalized, though. It's just crazy. Exactly. We just yeah, my alarm is just going off in the background. <laughs> That's, yeah. What time is it? Yeah, it's. We're just gonna keep going. We're, we're, we're doing this. I'm leaving this in the audio. We just you know disrespectful because um, I don't feel like getting up and getting it. <laughs> That's just, that's just, too, <laughs> that's just letting me know that, it, you know, daylight savings change is about to be midnight some other time somewhere. But yeah, like, because I didn't change the time on my watch. It's supposed to be, you know, letting me know when it's almost midnight. But yeah, it's almost 11 o'clock. But yeah, I mean, just be aware of what you're going through, what you're experiencing, what the people around you are saying to you, even if they're not saying it. Mm-hmm. Just be mindful, honestly. Like, Yo, yeah, just um, Sir, bro. Mm-hmm. Observing is just like everything, bro. And make yourself available to listen also. Big time. Like, mm-hmm. make yourself honestly available to listen because you don't know who is trying to reach out to you. Right. Like, even if they're not being outwardly, like, just obvious with it. Just, <sighs> like, I, hmm. You okay? I'm you fine. Look like you, you look like, what's up? What's up? Like, I'm what's fine. On? It's just, this shit what's going sucks, on? dog. Children, yo. Like, this grown ass man. Mm-hmm. Nah, 
ass people. These grown ass people and children. You know what? Me, I, I have a soft spot for children. Like, I can't. Children are like, old, children and old people. Children and old people. And recently, people of like mental disabilities. Oh, like, they've been get- Yeah, man. Oh, like, people just are wicked, yo. Like, and they take advantage of people that are like less mentally able. And I just yeah. be like, that's so fucked up. Like, that's so fucked it really up. Gets you, it really puts you in a way. Like, it like, really pisses you off in a yeah. People just wicked, and I just don't understand it. Like, it's whatever, man. It's a shitty fucking world we live in. <laughs> the facts like, are, yo. The and facts, that's yo. and that's why I said I don't like looking up statistics on things because, like we just said, like someone is being raped because right because now. It just, it but it just makes me like a lot, like yo. And then it makes me like yo. How many people are in the world? Huh. How is this happening like this? Like yeah. this, like this, and I only mm-hmm. look up. Like, how many people are having sex right now? Oh, That's Jesus. I look up everything. You feel mm-hmm. me? But when it's like, yo, someone just got killed or someone yeah. just got raped. Someone mm-hmm. just got... Yo, when it's like someone just got raped, every something, something, something. Mm-hmm. How, about, how about... Wouldn't it make sense if you looked that up? I don't know. Yeah. We, I mean, I just... And that's what's reported. That's my issue with those statistics. That's what's being mm-hmm. reported. We're not going to talk about the ones that don't get reported because that number is way higher and people don't realize that your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your fiance can rape you. Just because you're in a relationship does not mean that they are entitled to your sex. Some of y'all don't realize that, but you should be able to say no to sex in a relationship. It, it, you... Every 96 seconds, another American is sexually assaulted. That's America. In America, exactly. 96 that seconds, that's a minute and a half. Mm-hmm. <sighs> So what, we recorded for like an hour, that's almost 30 people? That's, like, yo, that's, no, if somebody out there wants to fuck you, you don't have to take it. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. my God, I just, you know, oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't even have a segue to get off of this topic, but we can, we can wrap this up right here. Um, I mean, shit. Yeah, yeah that shit, that shit's just, uh. If you haven't watched it, I guess if you have the stomach for it, watch it. I mean, it gets pretty detailed. Yes, yeah, every ninety-eight it's, second shit. Yeah, it's um thirty. What is this? Three hundred twenty-one thousand five hundred victims, twelve or older of rape and sexual assault each year in the United States. Twelve or older, mm-hmm. and they raping younger than that too. ridiculous Bye. anyways y'all be safe out there <laughs> oh i think she's done y'all like, be safe out there y'all be cool man keep it tight yeah no that don't sound <laughs> good oh my god i'm sorry i take that back keep I mean, it together yeah everybody y'all just be safe you know y'all got kids pay attention nieces nephews mm-hmm. all of that. younger siblings older siblings everybody friends family etc talk, talk to people get help if you need be like if you went through something and you know it's affecting you now in your older life as well Mm-hmm. Listen, I ain't getting paid for this, but talk space is there if you don't want to go sit face to face with somebody. You want to talk space thing? Because I think that's a cool ass thing, yo. You can text a therapist. You can video chat a therapist. You don't have to go nowhere. That's dope as shit. And it's f- affordable. You know what I'm saying? They be having deals all the time and shit like that. Talk to somebody. Write a journal. Something. Like, get it out. Harboring that shit is not good at all. Exactly. So... You know, if you got any short stories or poetry you want to write, I, I don't mind reading some sad stuff. I might have to cry it out before I come on air. <laughs> but, you know, send it in. Listen, I might, they might want to touch my feelings. I've been getting older. I got more sensitive, I think, you know. I'm getting softer with age. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. All that fun stuff. Um, don't forget to listen, like, share, subscribe. Pointless Talks on all the fun things. Tune in, iTunes, SoundCloud, Facebook, YouTube, Google Play Music, Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Um, if you like us, rate us, give us five stars. Where are they following you at? Dem Sugar Dem underscore. Sugar underscore on Instagram and Lion Young B on Twitter. Keep it cute. Yep. Pointless Talks on everything. And whether you got here it's on like purpose. Pointless Talks on everything on everything (laughs) and whether you got here on purpose or by fate thank you again for tuning in to the pointless talks podcast